Hello, this is Bob Rutledge. Uh, it's been quite a remarkable year for myself and my clients. And if you want to join us, uh, keep in touch with us. But give me a call if you want to join us. Otherwise, keep in touch with us by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner and you'll get my a link to my videos every time I put one out. Uh, in this particular case, I want to talk about one of my clients that owns a gutter business. And when if you have a Google My Business account, these are the things you need to look at to verify that your metrics are working. And if they're not, if you're not getting what you need to get out of your uh, account, I hope you'll give me a call because I have a lot of experience at this now. And I can make your phone ring uh, using the Google My Business account, not to mention some other tools. But let's just talk about Google My Business right now. In this particular case, I have a client in Marietta, Georgia. They are doing great, and um, I just want to show you uh, how to read the analytics. It's, it's You click on the Insights button when you're in Google My Business. And as you can see, they are getting pretty good results for gutter cleaning, gutter cleaning near me, gutter repair, gutter replacement. One of the interesting things that uh, I was telling, I do these videos, I've already done one for the client to kind of explain to them what's going on now and what we've done in the past few months and what to expect in the next year. Uh, but one of the things is that he was coming up a lot for his business name, and he still is. But when you come up for gutter cleaning, gutter cleaning near me, gutter repair, you're coming up for... You're, you're, these are what we call discovery keywords. They don't know who you are, and they're open to finding and, and giving you the business because you're listed so high in the search engines. Now, speaking of the search engines, so in this particular case here, this is a month. Uh, he's gotten this much traffic direct, and then people discovering uh, who he is from the searches in the past week. And this is Christmas week, by the way. Um, and then people find him from his branded name. If we look at it on a monthly basis, again, it's probably about the same percentages, but the good deal is, you know, 2,500 opportunities to be discovered for the first time. That doesn't mean all these people have clicked on his website, but at least he's showing up in the fight. And if you're not showing up, uh, you're going backwards. In the past quarter, almost 8,000 times he has shown up. Now, this is the graph that I call that is the most important. As you'll see now, he is basically getting more views on his maps listing than he is in the search engines per se. Now, think about, go look up, uh, in this particular case, gutter cleaning. Uh, go look up whatever service that you're doing, be it heating and air, whatever, and you will find that listings on the search engine far out exceed, in most cases, listings in the map section. But when you actually look at it, they've got the paid listings at the top, they've got the map section, they may even have a question and answers now at, below that, and then way down here at the bottom of the page, you could be number one for gutter cleaning or for heating and air conditioning repair or whatever, but you're three quarters of the way down the page. And by the way, you're probably not even going to be number one. You're probably going to be number three behind people like um, Home Advisor and Yelp and Thumbtack and services like that. Okay. So now watch this. We're going to go back in time to watch how this, con this, uh, contractor has improved over time. So here, the my goal is to make my contractors show up more in the map section than in the search. I mean, I'll take the search. It's better than a sharp stick in the eye, but it doesn't do you much good anymore. It's all about the maps listing. So let's change it to the monthly view. And you'll see here that we're just about to start passing the search engine re uh, views. When we go back to the quarterly view, you'll notice that we started out at a big deficit. Now, this is including all this right in here, but if you go back into these days, 
you're talking about 65 to 3 views on of search engines versus maps listings. And just because you're showing up on the first page of the search results doesn't mean they're even looking at you because you could be all the way down at the bottom. 310 versus 44. 97 versus 9. Okay, and then here's where we start flipping it. 84 to 88. This is a really good one. 199 to 45. And then sometimes it goes backwards. Um, sometimes I, for whatever reason, I didn't post that particular week, didn't write a particularly good article, whatever the case may be. Also, when I post uh, for my clients, I'd be sure, I'm sure to take the photographs that I use and brand them with their logo. And then I write a good little article and link it back to the website. So there's a lot goes into it. And uh, over time, that's why they know to rank this particular company for gutter cleaning, gutter cleaning near me. But as you can see how time has gone on here, that uh, he's getting more maps listings than search engine listings. Really, the search engine listings haven't gone anywhere. They're just not, uh, the, the maps listings is starting to overtake it. And that's a good thing, like I said. And then customer actions, uh, phone calls, that sort of thing. Uh, let's see how that's been doing over the past quarter. 143 in the past quarter and phone calls in the past month, 40. So that's right about on uh, schedule. Let's see how it's doing in a week. And four. Okay, well, it's Christmas. It's been over Christmas. I'm surprised that these numbers are looking this good. But anyway, the bottom line is you want to have someone working your Google My Business account. I hope you'll call me. My name is Bob Rutledge. The phone number is 251 241-9111. You'll find all of that in the notes. Be sure and hit the subscribe button though. I'll give you some good tidbits about how to do some of this stuff yourself. In the meantime, best of luck and have a good 2020. A new decade. I didn't even think about that until this week.